the goal was then, well, let's put on the biggest WrestleMania of all time between The Rock and Roman Reigns. Let's do that. So now, as we started to put that on its feet, um, the fans started to voice their concern, which is the best part, one of the best parts about our business. Again, when the fans voice their concerns, whether it's five or 5,000 or 5 million, you can hear them, you can listen, you can choose to truck through it, or you can choose to take action and serve them properly. So as we started to put this whole thing on its feet, um, a moment came, I felt like it was a critical moment and I was in Hawaii uh, with the family and in, luckily in Hawaii is where I get a lot of my pretty good ideas, some not so good, but a lot of them yeah. good. And um, I remember calling Nick and Ari and I said, I have this idea. I don't think we should truck through this because the thing that bothers me most is that there is a group of fans, a segment of fans who are upset. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what the North Star is, but how about this as an idea? Why don't we go with this incredible storyline, continue to go with it between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. The idea of finishing his story is one that fans have invested in. We as a company have invested in that too. Rock and Roman can wait. However, what if the rock turned heel? And what if the Rock not only turned heel, but I was able to present a version of The Rock that was 10.0. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there, there's been a level of violence and intensity sure. that if you told me six months ago, DJ's going to be doing this, everybody would have been shaking heads. Sure. No way, he's not mm -hmm. I mean, you've taken this thing to a far different level. Well, I think you have to with something like this. If we're gonna go and we're gonna commit to Rock 10.0, we're gonna commit to Final Boss, and if that's gonna be the declaration, well, what does that mean? That means you go for it, you swing for the fences, and you don't look back. 